You know, Sora Bailey and I met uh, several years ago when I was elected treasurer of Delta Sigma Theta, and she was elected the Far West Regional Director. And we were on the board together, and the other person with us was Connie Clayton, who was then the Eastern Regional Director, and, was, and the three of us came together. Now, all three of us were kind of green nationally, and we were kind of frightened of Sadie T. Alexander, you know, the first national president of Delta Sigma Theta, because she was on the board, and we kind of sh shivered when she was there, and we were talking, but we soon assessed the situation, and then we worked assiduously to do our duties and to do our task and carry out what it was we had to do. And that's how Mona and I met, and we became great friends, and we have worked together in the organization ever since then. So, so let me tell you a little bit about Sara Bailey, a moaner, or, or the gem of the Far West region. You know, Mona has always been goal-oriented and goal-driven, and she has always followed a task all the way through. She has served Delta in many, 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 many arenas and many tasks, and she has done all of it very well. And when I look at it in terms of Mona being regional director, she was national convention coordinator when the convention was in Seattle, and then she was elected vice president at that regional conference. And her rise through the ranks of the organization to become the 17th national president. But in each step along the way, she has made a very impactful mark on the association. When I look at her tenure as national president, she gave rise to the fact of the national summits. And I remember so vividly when she was president, we had the march down Pennsylvania Avenue. And who was leading that march? But Sora founder, Bertha Pitts Campbell, was at the front of that march going down Pennsylvania Avenue. When I talk about Sora Bertha Pitts Campbell, I have to say that Maybe in Sora Bertha's later years, she enjoyed a very, very enriched life because of Mona and her family, who really took Bertha in as one of their own. And I think Bertha thought of Mona as being her daughter. So I, I would say uh, if we could look in the archives in terms of Sora Bailey, I would think that she set the standards for the national summits. And also, uh, she was chair, a co-chair, of Ritual and Ceremonies Commission for several years, which led her to really revamp and revise the ritual. And this was also a part of her administration. Uh, I think we can remember many, many things about Sora Bailey. But I would say also, she has the special knack of reaching out to people. It's almost like she would tap people and embrace people and almost symbolically squeeze people in some way so that they would never, never get away because she always has a knack of remembering people and stopping to talk to people. And sometimes I'd be way down the corridor and Mona would be back there talking to people and just ambling along. But she would relate to people. She's truly, truly a gem. And I think her radiance extends far and far and far. And I think it embraces all persons who come in contact with Mona. I would say she's truly, truly a gem. And she's truly, truly deserving of the title, Jewel of the Far West Region. I think that's a wrap.